should be able to hear this whether you're a Christian or a spiritual person or you're an atheist and just understand there's a, there's a creative part of you that lives in the moment. That's the part of you that's creating and having a great time. And here's where people get caught up. They go, well, is that the universe? Or is it God? Or is it your instincts? I don't know. You should be able to say all of them. That thing doesn't matter. People get so caught up in arguing about that crap that they miss the point. They miss the growing. It doesn't matter what the hell it is. Connect with that place. Connect with that place. It feels like you're either this skeptical, angry person that believes nothing's possible, and you're just like, everything's bullshit, and I hate this, or there's this weird other extreme where they change their name to like Rainbow Maka Sunshine, and they don't shave their armpits. I'm not experiencing what they're experiencing, so this isn't judgment. But like, what about all the people in the world that just want to do more with their life? I think to myself, where's the middle? There's got to be a middle there where we are like we were when we were kids. When we were kids. When we were kids. When we were kids. You are what you love and not what loves you. If you really break that down, what that means is when we were kids, all we did was played. We literally just played and we did what we loved to do. We created. We were drawing all day. We were singing all day. We didn't care what people thought about us or what our ex-girlfriend was doing. We didn't even care about that stuff or who are we going to get to date us or what's the boss think at the company. We just did what we loved to do. We created and we played all day, literally all day. And we pretended that we were certain people that we wanted to be when we grew up. We pretended we were firemen or a DJ or a comedian or a famous singer. And we just did that. It was going from in to out. Our creativity was what was running us. It was going from in to out. It was going from in to out. It was going from and as time goes on, we learn from society we can't do stuff, and kind of society turns us into a consumer. 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 We've been conditioned to move to a place of what loves us, and almost every decision we make now is based on what other people think about us. If you go on a date with someone you really like, you're going, I want this person to like me. So you're saying, this person completes me. So you're really saying, I'm incomplete without this person. You're going to be insane on the date. And that's why we're in fear, because we're running around going, oh man, I hope this thing goes this way, I hope I get this job, I hope this person likes me, oh, what if I don't get rent paid, blah, blah, blah. But if you're under the illusion that these things outside of you are what complete you, you will always be a victim, because everything has to change to make you happy. So you're dependent on that, and you're moving from a place from out to in. Place from out to in. Place from out to in. When you were a kid, you weren't sitting there managing fake lists and hoping you had as many customers as possible. You were working on you. And that same mentality exists in the people who are the greatest at what they do. The greatest speakers and the greatest everyone doesn't worry about their lists. If they weren't looking at their lists and how many people they got, they were working on themselves and they were excelling at that. And because of that, they were undeniably amazing. You can work, but it can be effortless. I think that there's a level of effortlessness that shows up by you enjoying the process of working on yourself. That's the goal of life. And when you do that, the results will show up when they're supposed to. Instead, let go of the results. Have a little intention, let go of the results, and watch how quickly they show up when you let go of them. You are what you love and not what loves you.